All right, folks, the channel is Creator Insider, the series Newsflash, and the host is Connor. That's right, I am back from now until what I am told is the end of the year, pending all of your feedback, of course. Uh, I'm eager to get back into it. I've reviewed all of the comments and feedback that you've been giving me over the past couple of months. I'll try and do you justice. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, first up, what we're going to be doing over the coming weeks is launching a 10% experiment. And what this experiment is going to do is remove comments that have been held for review after 60 days. How are we gonna communicate this to the community? Well, we're gonna use a banner notice and what that banner notice will detail is exactly what I'm saying here. But 60 days after that banner notice goes live, we will begin to remove those held for review comments. Now, again, it's an experiment. We'll evaluate its efficacy on the basis of your feedback. So if you can, drop us a comment below and let us know if you've seen it or if you find the concept useful. All right, update number two. What are YouTube Shorts? How do I monetize? Let's start off with what YouTube Shorts are. They are a short form video experience. Now, being totally honest with you, I wasn't keeping up with the news internally last week. I saw these for the first time, just like any other user. And what the strategy here is, is to connect the next generation of mobile creators with that audience that YouTube provides. And that's an audience that is at least 2 billion users. So really what this is, is a commitment to mobile. So this is a vertical video up to 60 seconds in duration. And what the video tools will do is churn out these 15 second videos. Any that are up to 60 seconds in duration will be eligible for the shelf. If you're in India, this isn't quite launched yet. So what you can do is for your shorter videos, hashtag them, hashtag shorts, and then they will be eligible at least for the shorts watch experience. More about shorts. They're going to be eligible for any section that you've chosen to feature on your channel homepage. For example, uploads. They're also gonna be visible in your videos tab as well. Now, how are you gonna monetize those shorts? As we roll out this feature, we wanna be conscious of the impact that this could have on your analytics. Stating it up front, right now, shorts aren't gonna be supported by ad serving and they're not gonna generate YouTube premium subscription revenue. What does that mean for your analytics? Well, as you see views rise from the shorts that you create, you may see your RPM dip. And that's because of the fact that they're not generating any revenue yet. Now, over the next couple of weeks, we will be working on ways in which we could make that happen, but it's not live right now. Now, let's talk traffic sources. So in the next couple of weeks within YouTube analytics, you'll be able to see the views coming from shorts under traffic source types. That's under the reach tab. Now it's really important to note that those views seen from the home page are going to come up under browse home and all other views from shorts are going to come under shorts traffic. That's about it on shorts and how we're thinking about monetization for shorts. We'll keep you updated over the next couple of weeks as we develop this product for you. All right, we will finish as we always do with a question around trivia. Now, last week, Maria asked, which country do you think she is from? Now, the answer was Ecuador. The winner, you know it. I know it, it was Candelo Records. Well done, Mr. or Mrs. Records. You are the winner. There is no prize except for the absolute respect of the Creator Insider community. And I'll start off with the next trivia question. The question is, you can navigate YouTube in a bunch of different languages, but how many languages can you navigate the platform through? The channel has been Creator Insider. The host has been me, Connor. I will be back each and every week for the rest of the year. Have a great week, folks. Ciao for now.